Hi guys, Joe here with the installation tutorial video for FTB Feed the Beast. Started a new server called CityCraft FTB and to play you're going to need to follow this installation tutorial to get firstly to get FTB installed and then to install the additional mod Mo Creatures as the server is running now. Now I'm going to be following the guide that I wrote on the forums. I'll link to this in the description of the video. Here it is. Um, so let's jump right in. I'm going to be following the Windows tutorial because I'm on a Windows setup. Um, so yeah, let's start with step one. Download the FTB launcher. Okay. So I'm going to click download and wait for the download timer and download now. Okay, so now it's downloaded. Let's go back it's to step two. What says downloaded? Run the launcher by double clicking it. Now I'm on Chrome, so I can single click it right here in the downloads bar. But normally you could navigate to your downloads folder like this. And you can see the FTB launcher, and then you can double click. Um, but if you're in Chrome, you can you can just do the single click, single click here. Um, so yeah, that's opened. It brings up this box. So it's asking me where it wants to install it, where I want to install FTB. So I'm going to put this on the desktop for the sake of the video, just make it simpler for you guys to follow. So there we go, desktop, apply, and then I am brought to these two windows console and the launcher itself now the console isn't that important you shouldn't need to worry about it if you're a bit scared about like console and seeing all this text coming through just ignore it it's just telling you what's going on in the background it's useful for checking out errors and troubleshooting but we're gonna focus on this window here so now let's go back step 3 select the FTB ultimate option from left hand area and click create profile in the drop down box at the bottom right of the launcher Okay, so FTB Ultimate already selected as it is the top option. Uh, you can play single player with all these other options here, there's loads of them, but the server is running Ultimate, so you're going to need to have that one selected. I'm going to click Select Profile, Create Profile, brings up this box, type in my Minecraft details, my password, and add. Okay, now it's added. It's a graphical glitch due to me recording this, but yeah, you can still see everything. Um, so now go back to the tutorial. Step four, I already did that. Uh, you now have FTP installed, and the next step is to that's a typo there. <laughs> the next step is to install more creatures as the server is running this additional mod. And then I've got here you must run FTP at least once before trying to complete these steps. So before you try and install more creatures, we're going to run this at least once. So click launch and you can see here it's downloading the mod pack that I've had selected it doesn't do this beforehand so you, this is why you need to launch it at least once if you don't if you try and if you just install the mod straight away it's going to wipe it because it hasn't actually downloaded the mod yet so let's wait for the mod pack to download shouldn't take that long okay and now that now that's done it is now downloading the jar file, I believe, which will pop up any second. There we go. Downloading Minecraft jar. This doesn't take long either. Downloading other Java stuff. And it's complete. And now FTB has launched on my other screen, so I'll move it across. Here it is. And here's the window saying it's setting up a Minecraft environment. And now it's launching. Now it does automatically launch in full screen, which is why it does this weird thing. But no, not to worry. Now it will hang on this screen for a while. You can look at console to check it is still doing stuff. You see here all this stuff ticking through. So it is still working. It's just loading everything up before you can actually play. So let's wait that out. And here we go. So here we are. It's fully installed now. I can play single player if I wanted to. I can't yet play multiplayer because I haven't added more creatures. And that's what we're going to do now. So I'm going to close this. And it shuts everything down with it. And reach step one. Download these two files. Okay, I'm going to click number one, number two. Now my internet's not the best, so I'm going to do a quick 
jump cut here until this is finished downloading. Okay, so that's finished downloading. I'll bring up my downloads folder here. You can see those two files have downloaded. Now, next step, open your FTP launcher and click Edit Mod Pack. Okay, so let's go back to Downloads, double click FTP Launcher. Now, you can move this to wherever you want on your desktop or documents, wherever you find it convenient. And it brings up these two windows again. And we're going to click Edit Mod Pack, which brings up this window. You can see all the mods which are currently installed. Now, if we hadn't run the, the launcher at least once, then these wouldn't be here, which is why we did that. So I'm going to click Add Mod. Navigate to my downloads folder. You can see here, and add Mo Creatures mod, and then add the custom mob spawner. Miss clicking there. Open. There we go. Now these two are added in. Back to the tutorial. Download the third file. Okay. Keep takes a few seconds to download that one and then change to the core mods tab in the same window you added the two files and click add mod and add the final file you downloaded okay so we still have this open you can see here the different tabs across the top we just added some mods now we're going to add one core mod add mod downloads directory again GUI API click open and there we go it's added now we're going to close this and click launch. And now we can play. Oh, here's one thing. It's asking, do I want to update? Now, if I update, I will have to reapply the mod, the Mo Creatures install. So you'll have to complete those steps again. So I don't really want to do that right now. So I'm going to click no. But whenever you feel like you want to, you can play on the server with this version. But if you feel like you want to update, just bear in mind that you do need to reapply the mods, so you'll have to go through and add them again. But it is completely fine to not update and uh, just play like this, which I'm doing. Now we can check again in the console, we can see stuff is still being loaded. So it is still working, it's not crashed. It just does take a while on this Mojang screen. So let's wait for everything to load up. And here we go. So now we can click multiplayer and add a server like normal, or an FTB feature that's added is connect to. And I can add a preset server. So I'm going to add citycraft and then the address servers.citycraft.co.uk colon 1339. And now I can click done, and it was a shortcut basically to connect to citycraft on your home screen. I'm going to click that. Logging in, and logging in still, and here we go. Uh, click Z to hide the voxel map intro, and I'm now on the server. So this is my my house, and my sugarcane farm, my bogger farm, and yeah, it's all done. People on here, Dicey's on here. Who else we got? Cookie, Dicey. Chrissy and Lord. So that's it. I'm now on the server. Everything's installed and I can play Citycraft FDB. If you have any problems, just post in the comments or on the forum thread. Um, and I'll try my best to help you. There's a lot of other people who are helping out in forums. So they might answer before I do. Um, but yeah, I hope you're able to follow this. I'll make a couple more videos and some installation guides on the forums on how to install Optifine and how to add custom Java options as a couple of people, especially people on Mac, seem to be having issues um, but there's, there's an easy fix for that. So yeah, thank you for watching my video and I hope to see you online.